Steve here at the SJCUE Fab Lab, and we're going to look at some exciting word features. Now, we're going to be looking at a desktop version of Word running on a Mac. There are different versions of Word, and you want to be mindful of what version you're using and what version your students are using. If you're in a situation where your students have access to a version of Word that is running locally on their machine, uh, they will be able uh, to access these features. But again, there are lots of different versions of Word, uh, and you might want to double check for what everyone's going to use. Now, these are really awesome features, uh, and I think you'll find they're interesting as well. So, the first one is kind of simple, but still kind of cool. It's changing the color of a background. All you have to do is go to Design, and then Page Color. You can choose whatever. You don't have to go to the office supply store. Okay, next, I really like changing the way that words look. I've found it awesome since I was young. So uh, here, if I go back to home, notice this colorful blue for text effects. I can do things like add uh, a reflection or a glow. Notice it starts off with a few examples, but I can change individual properties below. All right, other cool things that I can do. Now, of course, I can make a line where students can write stuff in. Like, that's basic. Um, text boxes are sometimes a little bit easier to deal with, but we can also do things like flowcharts. So right here, I'm talking about the way in which a tree grows. And students can edit as they see necessary. Neat. We can also easily add images to make our document uh, more engaging. I can say insert, picture, and then I can choose uh, files that are on my computer, I can choose stock images, or online images. We can even draw something and add it in. It's important to point out that we can bring the internet into the document with hyperlinks. Choose the text that you want to make a hyperlink, and right click. This right here uh, takes students to sjcuestem.net. A lot of good resources there. Okay, I think this is the most interesting uh, thing right here. I can add 3D models right into my Word document to make it interactive. Uh, there's a lot of them already in Word. Uh, for instance, there was a model of a cell. Uh, right here, we have a smart city designed by a sixth grader in Minecraft education. Oh, that's pretty cool. Garden growing on top of a house. And, and we can look at it right there inside the document. We can also add video right in. So hey, let's, let's look at this city. I'm going to double click. Well, that's pretty cool. Now, I do want to point out, uh, it looks different on the online version. So here we go. I still see my 3D model, but it's a 2D image. Uh, same with my video. So I want to be mindful of what version of Word I'm using and what version my students are using. But these are some really cool features, and I hope you try them out. Have fun. Bye.